that is hard work. Hi, I'm Chris, Hydroponics Program Manager at Green Our Planet, and I've got a question for you. Have you ever seen anyone build a house? Houses come in so many different shapes and sizes, don't they? Have you ever thought of why we build them? Well, people have needs, and a house has to meet the needs of the people who live in them. When we build houses, we like them to have certain structures. We need a roof to protect us from the sun and rain. We need walls because until we enclose a space, we can't heat or cool it. A house or apartment needs windows to let in light because we like to live in well-lit places. And a house or apartment building needs a strong foundation so that the walls can stand up and so that the house or buildings won't be blown away in strong winds. You remember the story of the three little pigs and the big bad wolf, right? The wolf was unable to blow down the house made solidly of bricks. So to meet the needs of the people who want to live in a house, builders build structures to meet those needs. Things like a solid foundation, sturdy walls, nice windows, roofs, and doors. A well-built house meets all of our needs. Our homes are part of our environments, or the places where we live. All living things get the things they need from their environments. Now, I have another question for you. What about other living things, like plants? Do plants have needs just like people have needs? Well, you already know that plants need things like water, nutrients, and sunlight, and space, and air. Does a plant build structures to meet those needs just like people build a house with structures to meet the homeowner's needs? What do you think? In your notebook, write your answer to this question. Do plants build structures to meet their needs just like people build a house with structures to meet our needs? Let's take a look at the structures plants build and their functions. Most plants need to be able to stand up tall so that they can hold up their branches, leaves, and flowers. So how do they do that? They build stems. Big plants like trees build tree trunks. Stems and trunks are like the walls of a house that hold up a roof. The stem's function is to hold up the rest of the plant's structures. We also know that plants need sunlight so that they can make food. So do they have special structures that can do that? Yes, they do. They build leaves. Leaves are like solar panels on the roof of a house that collect the energy from the sun so that the energy can produce electricity. The leaves function is to collect the energy from the sun and use that energy to produce food for the plant. How amazing is that? Do you remember what that process is called? That's right, it's photosynthesis. So what else do plants need besides sunlight? and a stem or trunk to hold up their leaves. Well, plants also need water and nutrients, which are usually in the soil. So do plants build special structures they can use to suck up water and nutrients from the ground? Yes, they do. We call those structures roots. Roots grow down into the ground and suck up the water and nutrients that are in the soil. Plants have other structures too. They have branches to hold the leaves out away from the stem or trunk so that they can gather up sunlight. And they make flowers so that they can make seeds and reproduce. So plants have all these cool structures that allow them to perform their important functions of finding water and nutrients and collecting energy from the sun to make nutrients so they can grow, right? But what happens if we take a plant and we put it inside a house or a building where there's no direct sunlight? 
where there's no soil with water and nutrients in it, but just a hard floor. Would the plant be able to survive? No, it wouldn't. Not unless we build some special structures for it so that it could have light and a way for its roots to absorb water and nutrients. I could keep my plant in a flower pot like this one. However, there's another way I can provide the perfect environment for my plant. Can you think of another structure that we could build that would help a plant grow inside? Hmm. What about a hydroponic system? Let's take a look at a hydroponic system and see if it provides for the needs of the plant. With a hydroponic system, we replace the soil outside with its water and nutrients with a reservoir full of a nutrient solution. When we place a plant in the hydroponics unit, the plant's roots grow down into the nutrient solution where they have all the nutrients they need. But what about the sun? Because we have roofs on our houses or apartments, there isn't the direct sunlight that many plants need. So what kind of structure can we add to our hydroponics unit that can solve that problem? That's right, grow lamps. The lamps generate light rays that the plant's leaves can collect so that they can manufacture the food that the plant needs. Turn to your partner. How does a hydroponic system provide everything a plant needs to survive? Which parts of the system provide for different plant needs? The reservoir holds the water and nutrients. The pump and tubing supplies the nutrients to the plants. Net pots and planting plugs hold the plant in place. Grow lights provide the light needed for photosynthesis. The whole system gives the plant somewhere to grow. Our hydroponic system provides everything the plant needs to grow, even if it doesn't have soil. So by building this special structure, the hydroponic system, we can provide an environment where plants have everything they need to grow. Light, space, water, and nutrients. That allows us to grow vegetables inside a house even when it's super hot or freezing outside. We've talked about a lot of structures today. Houses, stems and leaves, hydroponic systems, so the next time you're in a house or apartment, just remember that it's a structure that was built to provide you with what you need. Light, space, heating or air conditioning, and protection from the sun, wind, and rain. And the next time you work with your hydroponics unit, think about how it functions to give the plants everything they need to survive. Air, water, nutrients, and space to grow. I'm Chris from Green Our Planet. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. And remember, the Earth is the only planet in our solar system that has life on it, which is why the Earth is the only planet that has such beautiful blues and greens. So let's remember to protect our planet and all of the life that lives on it. Bye-bye. <laughs>